The Hortonville Polar Bears came into Wednesday night trying to win their first state title since they went back to back in 1997 and 1998. And on Wednesday, they took on three seed Franklin and they got it done. They punched their ticket to the state championship thanks to some clutch hitting and some amazing pitching. Let's show you how it happened. This one started out as an absolute pitcher's duel. Nate Vela on the mound for the Polar Bears and he was dealing, racking up the K's on the Sabres. Joe Herrick on the mound for the Sabres, and he too was shutting down Hortonville batters. Bottom four, Hortonville down one. They have the bases juiced, only one out. Ethan Peters hits this on the ground. They get one and two, that's a double play. Sabres get out of the inning unscathed. In the fifth, Hortonville gets on the board. Camden Kuki grounds to third. In comes Brett Summer from third. Kuki beats the throw at first. It's all tied up. Arizona State commit Thomas Burns up to bat now. Bases juiced. He lines it up the middle. One will score. Two will score. Three to one Hortonville. Nathan Graham's up to bat now. He hits a single out to left. One will come around to score. Burns will come around third. And he's out at the plate. Four to one Polar Bears after five. And Vela closes the door on the Sabres the rest of the way. They win by that four to one score. He finishes with a complete game, only giving up two hits and one run while striking out 10. And this win is nice, but as Hortonville told me after the game, the job's not done yet. It feels amazing, but you know, the job isn't finished. Uh, my teammates helped me out. I, I was getting hit or like that home run, we didn't get down, but all my teammates picked me up. It feels good to get that win there. What does it mean to put your ticket to the state title game? <laughs> we haven't done it in how many years? We haven't, we're, we're gonna be the first ones to do it in division one. It feels surreal. I don't know, it's, it feels crazy. To coach this group, I mean, again, I, I go back to it and I say it a lot, but the work ethic and, you know, just they're hungry. They, they when, when they got into high school, I, I, I know that that was their goal was to win a state championship and, you know, everybody says that, but you have to have the work to back it up. And, and, and they've, they put in the time and just the whole group, one through nine, uh, scrappy, competitive. Uh, you know, we're, we're not gonna, we're gonna be a tough out. Next up, the Polar Bears take on Whitefish Bay Thursday night at 6 p.m.